Hey everyone, it's time for math. So we've in math been doing equations that look like this. They go side to side. And we did three plus two equals five is how we would read that. Okay. I'm gonna show you today that there's another way that we can also write equations. We can write them going up and down. So we could do the same one and it would look like this. Three, and then the plus sign goes over here to the side. 3 plus 2, and then this is the equal sign. Instead of being the two little lines like that, it's one big line like this underneath, and then we write the answer down here. So these are two different ways to write the same equation. 3 plus 2 equals 5 looks like that. We could have it look like this, 3 plus 2 equals 5. So we could look both of those ways. Okay, let's try another one together. I am going to write an equation over here on the board, and let's see if you can figure out how to write it going up and down. Let's do three plus one. Oops. I meant to write it going side to side so you could write it up and down. Okay, here it is going side to side. Three plus one equals four. And then you write it going up and down. So you, you'll want your whiteboard. You might have to pause me for a minute to get your whiteboard and write it going up and down. Okay, are you ready to see what it would look like? It would look like this. Three, and then remember the plus sign goes off to the side over here. Three plus one equals, three plus one equals four. 3 plus 1 equals 4. Okay, so our work today has equations that go up and down. So you'll get to see those. The important thing that you'll want to remember is that when you find the answer, how, many, how much it equals, you're going to put that underneath that line. Okay? It just goes under that line. And I'll leave that equation up there for you to see. So you'll need a paper that looks like this. Okay, so you have a paper that looks like this. And let me show you what you'll do. Remember we've been working with this strategy, use a picture, okay? And we're still working with use a picture. And today we're going to use these ladybugs over here to help us with our picture. So here's an equation and you read this like this, three plus four. And then we're gonna draw dots on the ladybug because a lot of times for math, you don't wanna draw, remember we've talked about that before, you don't wanna draw a really complicated picture, but something that's simple and easy. So dots are pretty easy. So I'm gonna do three, because that's three on this side, three plus four. So then over on this side, I'll add my four, three plus four. And then to find out how much it equals, what should I do? Yeah, I should count all those dots. So let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'll put seven down here under the line. Three plus four equals seven. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. Oops, I'm gonna just set that there. <laughs> that's what you're going to do for your math today. Okay, so for each of these, I want you to look at your equation and then you're gonna put dots on one side for the first number dots on the other side for the next number, and then figure out how many it is all together. What does it equal when you add them together? Count them all, and you'll put the answer under the line. Okay, you can do it. Go ahead and get to work, mathematicians.